To grow exponentially and metastasize, solid tumors require an ever-increasing supply of nutrients carried by the human protein, albumin. Tumors have adapted to meet their increasing need for nutrients. Angiogenesis is one such adaptation. By this rapid growth of newly formed dense vasculature, nutrients are carried to the tumor by serum albumin, the most ubiquitous protein in the body. How does the tumor extract albumin and its bound nutrients from the bloodstream? One mechanism is the high permeability of the tumor's neovessels, which permits large macromolecules such as albumin to leak into the underlying tumor tissue. Impaired lymphatic drainage is a second mechanism. This slows tumor drainage and traps proteins within the tumor where they are consumed. A third mechanism, only recently recognized, is the tumor's ability to exploit a natural pathway by which these nutrients are normally transported across the endothelial barrier. This pathway is known as the albumin-activated GP60 pathway. Let's examine in detail how this pathway operates. Albumin first binds specifically to vascular endothelial cells via GP60 receptors, also known as albondin, on the surface of endothelial cells. The primary function of GP60 receptors is to participate in the transport of albumin across the blood vessel wall. Albumin binding activates the membrane protein caviolin-1. Caviolin-1 then induces the budding of vesicles, known as caviole, which fill up with even more albumin-bound nutrient molecules as they form. Hyperactivity of the caviole transport system by the tumor maximizes its utilization of this GP60 pathway. In the process known as transcytosis, caviole then migrate across the cell cytoplasm and deposit their contents into the tumor's interstitium, thereby providing tumor cells with the necessary nutrients to continue proliferating and spreading. A new paradigm for the treatment of cancer has been developed that leverages the tumor's feeding mechanisms against itself. This paradigm is known as albumin-bound nanoparticles. Each nanoparticle is about 100 times smaller than a red blood cell and is composed of an outer layer of albumin surrounding an inner core of the water-insoluble cytotoxic agent. Due to their small size, these nanoparticles, trillions of them, can be safely administered intravenously and rapidly in only 30 minutes. Once in the circulation, albumin-bound cytotoxic agents bind GP60 receptors on vascular endothelial cells in exactly the same way that normal albumin does. The activated GP60 receptor interacts with caviolin-1 protein, leading to formation of caviole. The caviole then transport their cargo, albumin loaded with cytotoxic agent, to the tumor's interstitium, where it is trapped. For the cytotoxic drug to be maximally effective, it must traverse one last barrier, the tumor cell membrane. Many tumors have evolved a biological process that allows maximum extraction of albumin-bound nutrients. Such tumors secrete a specialized protein known as SPARC, short for secreted protein acidic and rich in cysteine into the tumor's interstitium and onto the surface of the tumor cell. This tumor secreted protein now acts as a receptor to specifically attract and bind albumin. As a result of SPARC's affinity for albumin, SPARC protein specifically binds albumin-bound cytotoxic agent and serves to concentrate it at the tumor cell. For the cytotoxic drug to be maximally effective, it must reverse one last barrier, the tumor cell membrane. And again, albumin's unique properties play a central role. Albumin's unique architecture 
makes it the ideal transport molecule. It has evolved the ability to give up water-insoluble compounds, in this case, the chemotherapeutic agent. Once the compound approaches a fatty lipid cell membrane, the drug is released by a novel spring release mechanism activated by fatty acids. Once released, the active free drug diffuses to the nucleus where it can initiate cell death. Tumors require nutrition to grow and spread. Rather than starving the tumor, an alternative approach is to preferentially supply it with albumin-bound nanoparticles. This is accomplished by using the tumor's biology against itself, by using its newly formed dense and leaky microvasculature, by using its compromised lymphatic drainage, by using the tumor's overexpression of caviolin-1 to maximize the activity of the albumin-activated GP60 pathway, and finally, by using the tumor's ability to secrete and leverage Spark's affinity for albumin, delivering cytotoxic agent to its optimal site of action.